Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. This will be a heel breach video right here like none other. People love to complain about SummerSlam in sunny California. But the late breaking news is that right now, WWE is planning on bringing WWE SummerSlam 2016 right back to the sunny state of California. It was only a one year breakup uh, with SummerSlam New York. Couldn't treat SummerSlam right, so it's coming right back home to its sweet little spot. Come on home to the Staples Center. We'll treat you right. We'll take your access. We'll take your confidential panels. We won't complain about Ticketmaster pre-sales or anything like that. SummerSlam has always treated me right. SummerSlam and the Staples Center has an awesome feel, uh, and it's just the right place to do it. Honestly, in my mind, New York really just fell apart this year. Uh, there, a lot of the rumors was that basically WWE didn't want to host SummerSlam, uh, WrestleMania, and another SummerSlam all in one calendar year, so they moved it to the sunny state of New York, where they wanted to put it in the IZOD Center, which was then being set up to be demolished. So then they thought about putting it in Madison Square Garden where it cost too much money. And then they finally moved to the Barclays Center where it's gonna be running SummerSlam and Monday Night Raw in the same building in one uh, one place. It's gonna be a pretty cool thing. If you guys are heading over there, go ahead and check it out. But I am more than welcome to take SummerSlam back. I know that people will be commenting down in the comment boxes down below about how it's not fair that WWE keeps coming here. People don't understand unless you come here what the relationship is between WWE and Los Angeles. This is a, a, a company and a city that work well together. It's well known about WWE Films being here and really trying to get that up off the ground and all of the discounts that is given to the WWE to come here. And basically they come here and they set up shop for a whole entire week. They do things more than Raw. They do things more than SmackDown. And matter of fact, I don't think they've been doing Raw here the last few years since 2010. 2011, we had to go down to San Diego. And besides for that, they've been sometimes heading to Vegas or Bakersfield. Last year, they did the California loop backwards. So I can't even remember where they went after here. But uh, I am more than glad to take SummerSlam back off the hands of the WWE Universe. I know that they will hate us. And I know they will hate me. They will leave comments basically saying that it's not fair for them to come here. but. Unless you come and see how much of a big deal WWE does in LA with the Staples Center and the surrounding areas, um, WWE pours a lot of the, their time and effort and their superstars into the surrounding areas. Um, it, it's almost like a mini WrestleMania. If you guys have ever come out here, the, the SummerSlam access is a smaller scale than, uh, than WrestleMania. Last year they didn't even do it, they did the confidential panels, which is a very cool thing and ended up being more for the WWE Network more than anything else. People paying to come and sit down in seats and then film to be able to put up live content uh, about what's going on at SummerSlam. So I'd really like to do it at WrestleMania, but SummerSlam back, coming back to LA in the Staples Center, I'm cool with that. Go ahead and hate on it all you want to, guys. We'll take it off your hands. New York, you treated it wrong, we'll treat it right.